Hello, hello, this is Alice the Dragon with another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Let's see if we can last more than ten minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, last episode really didn't go well. Although I was going strong for a while, um, it, it just didn't work out. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I need to change my stuff. I want to be stealthy and dodgy and I want to throw stuff. So get get that leopard gecko. <laughs> I always have to check the names. My little Bella is just kind of pacing around, just looking at me like, what are you doing, Mama? You're just talking to your computer. Yeah, uh, normally you just play video games, but now you're 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 talking to nobody. Well, <clears throat> I am talking to somebody. I'm talking to you, of course. And uh, although this is this is something I'm doing for me, I really like having you along for the ride. Level two, yes. Let's see if we can keep that up need to start picking up various missiles. Pick up sling billets. I love slings in this game because they're almost overpowered. At least in early game. I haven't even gotten to late game. game. So yeah, I have no idea what lies ahead of me except from what I've gleaned from you know, cursory examinations of the local, uh, not local, of <laughs> the Wikipedia page. Oh, jeez Louise. <clears throat> so, where are we going? What are we doing? Killing kobolds. More kobolds. Let's just go at them. Got them. Do, 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 do. You know those boots are looking fine? Bet they look even better on your screen. Cause yeah, you know, I'm kinda zoomed out compared to where you're at. I don't know. But it, they almost look like they have spats. Like they're they're white and they have like little black soles. And I kinda, I kinda like them. I think I'm gonna keep these. Unless I somehow find a pair of boots that's like a rand art. Gotta love those rand arts. That's another reason why I usually go the unarmed combat route. Cause then you can just take whatever the first rand art weapon you find and just use it. Make it your own. And uh, although it might not make you, you know, super good at it at first. Yeah, you know, the the right rand art can really make or break a uh, make make or break a game. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't talk today. Get that snake. Don't get poisoned. You got poisoned. Alice the dragon is feeling sick, but not anymore. Get that goblin! Yeah, sneak attack. Uh, today's been well, uh, kind of kind of interesting, just because I'm starting a new job. Ooh, yes, my favorite favorite god, and he's being guarded. Got him. Okay, so. This is Hep Hepliclana. Hepil Hepliaclocana. Hepliaclocana. <laughs> and basically it makes it it lowers your health a, a, a little bit and makes a duplicate of you. So, yes, I want to join this religion. My ancestor will be a hexer because that is the overpowered <laughs> sidekick compared to the others. Faded altar of an unknown god, that's fine. 
the hexers are great because they will just like slow and confuse your enemies and if you get in real trouble you can back up behind them and they have a dagger which is mighty nice and if you can flank them like that then yeah they have their attack you have your attack and unlike say uh, summoned creatures or the undead they can, yeah, they're permanent, and they f can follow you from floor to floor, of course. And if they die, they come back, just after a while. And, yeah, I, th I think you can see why this is my favorite, because I love having a companion in any game whatsoever. I'm hungry. Uh, I'll save those rations. I'm sure I'll run across something edible like a cockroach. Ooh, I've reached level four. I feel clever. Damn. I squished the cockroach. No meat left. Bat. Give me food, bat. Dang it. I don't want to use one of my rations. There we go. See, the, the rotten flesh or not rotten flesh, the monster flesh doesn't taste super great. So unless you have Oh my oh my goodness, I just noticed the name of our companion and I really wish I could adjust the window now. Cause uh it the the the, the person's name is Alfthrinth, but the A is one of those like really weird like it, it's not like it has an accent mark on top or anything. I have no idea how it's pronounced, but it looks like an A and an E. A capital A and a capital E were just squished together into one thing. I have no idea how to pronounce that vowel. So, you know, if you happen to have a knowledge of letters, feel free to sound off in the comments <laughs> and correct me on my uh, pronunciation. So, yeah. So I'm thinking of doing these videos once a day if I can. I don't think I want to do any more than that because on uh, DTube, uh, it's such a small community right now um, that if I were to put up a whole bunch of videos at once, they would like all appear in a row in people's feed. So I really don't want to do that. I would rather just you know, get something done and be like, yeah, I did that and see if and you know, just put it out there and do whatever with it. Yes. Confused the snake and made it easy to dispatch him. Actually, you know what uh, I, I, I uh, wish I could uh, figure out what gender my companion is, but I'm sure it'll show up down there in the uh, in the the, the feed. Uh, what do you call it? Dang it! Level five. Unarmed combat is level four. That's great. Dang it, what is the word for that? Is this uh, a pronoun being used in the... Oh my god, so many gnolls. I do not want to mess with them, but they are going to come anyway. Oops. Don't want to do that. I would really rather just, yeah, have that there we go -hoo 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 -hoo. I think I'm going to back up and let my companion do some business I have reached level 6 because he killed that knoll when he ducked around the corner 
Um, strength, intelligence, or dexterity? Since I am level 6, I get an increase of attributes. Let's do strength again. Oh, she's a, she, uh, she's a girl. Alfrinth remembers more of her old skill. Um, uh, yes, there's a lizard nearby. I really don't care. Yes, kill it. Kill this guy too. I am hurting. I just need to rest. There we go. Getting a wand. Those orcs are just like no problem now. And I see a ghost. Novice Grey Draconian Monk. Apparition, apparition of Ailey the Sneak, a Novice Grey Draconian Monk. Well, no breath attacks, at least. Can hit for up to 8 damage, incapable of using stairs. Uh, do I go after him? Yeah, I'm gonna go after him. I like a little bit of punishment. Okay, looks like we are just getting totally... There we go. I am just... Don't want to mess with that. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, okay, let's not go up in that direction. We'll go down this way. I want to see if I can get stronger before tackling that ghost. Because ghosts are just... <sighs> they're just nasty all around. Like, I, I get the sneaking suspicion that they're actually stronger than the characters who died making them crazy youth! Die, 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 die. Yeah, he got me poisoned, but Alfrinth still has that poisoned dagger. Ouch! Sp you know, space bends around me. Maybe I'm about to teleport. Ah, he electrocuted me. Uh, there we go. Whew. All right, I want that ruined cloak. I want to wear that ruined cloak. Oh, I have a ring. I didn't realize. Yes, magic resistance. Plus two. Cursed ring of loudness. That's fine. We have scrolls. Scroll of identify. Let's identify some of our potions. Potion of might. Potion of haste. Potion of Lignification. Now, Lignification, I actually really like. It's one of those... It's one of those potions that counts as... Uh, not desired by the game. But it turns you into a tree. And that tree is pretty badass. Come on, Ailey. Actually... Let's use that potion of lignification right now. Trees are also a lot tougher. Yes. Get confused. No, now I can't move. <laughs> Get back here. Come back. There you go. I throw rocks at it. Just like the trees in... Uh, in uh, Dorothy and the Tiny People. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Bella? She just tried to pick up her whole blanket. Okay, here. Sorry, little girl. Let me cover you up. I offered to cover you up earlier, but you didn't take it. So I thought you weren't into it. But I am now level seven. I, I like. Even though I'm a tree. My scales start take start taking on a pale cyan gray color. Ooh, I'm a steam dragon. 
Yes, learn fire magic, air magic, and evocations quicker. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Don't I don't I just look badass now? This is probably as close as I'll ever get to a silver dragon in this game. Cause I am a silver dragon and that is what I like to be. But here, let's actually no, not not on an undead critter. Undead critters don't care about steam. Wu-Tang Clan again. One of these runs I'll show you the Wu-Tang Clan. They're pretty cool because you can uh, like jump and yikes! <laughs> too many. Way too many. Okay. Let's just hang out here. Yes. Kill them. What? Let's see. War Axe of Flaming is what that is. Do I want a War Axe of Flaming? I think I would rather just wait until my Randart appears. It will mean longer a wait. Yeah, you saw how that potion of ling lignification uh, wasn't selected by the auto pickup? Uh, that's that's what I was talking about earlier about the game not considering it a, a quote good potion to have. I always want the potions of lig lignification because they have saved my butt more times than I can count. I eventually die anyway, but uh, <laughs> but they've saved my butt. Grinder. <laughs> Let's get them both. Yes, level 8. Throwing skill incre increases to level 3. Unarmed combat is level 6. I feel agile. Alright. Let's keep this party going. Wizard! Oh dear. This is not a good situation to be in. There's Blork the Orc and this ogre right here. There's some stairs. Let's go up some stairs. Sure, I'll eat a ration now. Okay. Alright, let's just go up with this. Sometimes you just need to use the stairs. Come on up, Blork the Orc. See? No problem. No problem. You just gotta get them one at a time, you know? I am actually at the point that... Is my auto pickup off for some reason? There we go. Alrighty. Continuing on our merry way. There's a cockroach that we just stepped on like it was no problem at all. Keep saying that things are no problem. <laughs> uh, let's see, how are my gloves? Oh, I didn't even put them on. Those are cursed. That's a scroll of amnesia. Don't really need that. That's a scroll of remove curse. Let's see if these are any better. <laughs> Uh, that is also cursed. Uh, do I care? I do not care. I think these ones match better anyway. They're kind of the same color as me. Alright, come here, orc. I do like that your companion just kind of waits behind with you instead of charging ahead like some other, um, some other critters might. Sigmund... The only problem now... Just kill him. There we go. A pair of boots. They're probably not any different. 
These ones are yellow. I, 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 I prefer the white ones, actually. So I'm going to drop those yellow ones. Because don't we look just so stylish right now with our green cape? And uh, white, you know, kind of gray gloves and white boots. Uh, I hate that that guy has a pole arm. Makes it so much harder. There we go. Except it really wasn't that hard because our our friend. Uh, up, up, uh, dang it! I'm so sorry. My ancestor, I forgot your name again. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible with names. I am just terrible. I wouldn't remember my own name if people hadn't be, been calling me Alice my entire life. A knobbly smoking staff. I always just want to know what these are. It's a staff of earth, and it's cursed. So... Holy cow, when did I get exploding tomahawks? Also, why why am I still wearing the Ring of Loudness? I really don't need that, and to be perfectly honest, that's just... I don't know. It's just, it just bad. Just bad. Sky Beast. Used to be the Sky Beast would have mutagenic flesh. And anytime I encountered a Sky Beast, it's just like, yeah, it's time to go nom 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 and roll those dice. Because you know I love mutation. It's very fun. I triggered an alarm trap, but there's nobody around to kill me. So let's keep going. Nice morning star there. Come here, snake. There we go. Imps. King imps. I should bleep that out and say friggin' instead. Friggin' imps. Uh, Alfrinth. It's kind of like, uh, a uh, little guy from Disenchanted, Elfo, except it's Alfrinth. Maybe that's how I'll remember it. Okay, Alfrinth. Yeah, maybe that's the actual pro proper pronunciation of an A and an E squished together, Alfrinth. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will correct me one of these days. Probably not today or tomorrow, but at some point. It's probably going to be many years in the future when I actually have some sort of following. <laughs> if that ever happens. I don't know. Ha ha ha. Bullfrog just dropped in the teleporter. I love it when that happens. It's just like, hey, I see you. I'm coming after you. Whoops. Just go off to a different place to get killed another time. We're making some progress. I'm rather pleased with how far we've gotten thus far. I'm pretty sure we've broken the 10 minute mark by now. So that's better than before. It's a food shop. Yep, all rations. I have 308 gold pieces. I have enough rations right now, so I'll just... Actually, no, I know what I'll do. Yes, I know there was a zombie back there, but please bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, and assorted animals. Uh, I am just going to set this as my waypoint number one so that I can find it again later course it's super super easy to do searches for stuff because you just do control F and you can type in any item you want you want and it'll still yeah it'll check shops 
which I think is really cool. Kill him! Kill him! Kill the ant! Kill the everything! The bloodlust is strong, and I got a book of maledictions. I think I do want to learn hexes. Especially since... Well... Actually, let's let's think here for a minute, a minute, guys. My, you know, my ancestor, my companion here, knows hexes. And if I train hexes, I'm not going to be able to get super good because I'm not a mage. And it'll take XP away from other things. So, you know what? I think I should just drop this. Used to be uh, I would take items like that up to the surface and just uh, put them right down near the exit. But uh, that's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to... Like, it really doesn't do anything. I, like, I don't know. Maybe, you know, it's, it's, it's like a weird ritual that I was doing for a while. Because I was just like, Okay, my purpose in this game is to bring stuff back from below that would be useful on the surface. Or something like that. Or stuff that I could pawn. That, that, that's really what it ended up being. It's like, I imagine I could pawn all this stuff when I, yeah, escape the, <laughs> uh, escape the dungeon. I mean, I could right now. That's a whip of draining right there. Whips are nice. They're, they're technically flails. Do I want to train whips? Do I? My fighting in my un unarmed combat is doing pretty good. I think I'm going to stop specifically training oops, the dodging and stealth and just focus on the throwing and the fighting just for now. Oh, the municipal temple. That's nice. I'm hungry again. Need to find some food. You can't eat a zombie. There we go. Uh, there we go. If this if this video ends up being longer than say thirty minutes for some reason, because yeah, knowing me, I'm probably gonna get killed here in the next floor or two. But if it ends up going longer than that, then yeah, I'll split it into two videos or something like that. I may have split it into two videos already, and you wouldn't even be able to... Um, well, you would know. I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> I'm sure that I'll figure something out. Just sneak up on that leopard gecko and... Bam. Ooh! Hello! That was a tomahawk flying past my head. Let's return the favor. Killed them all. Just tomahawks. And I get more tomahawks out of it. I have 12 now. I had 8 before, now I have 12. Ooh, hello, Grum. Let's just. Oh, no. Why are you in the way? Just. Okay, I killed Grum. Alfrinth is going after that wolf while I dispatch this wolf. Okay. Excellent. Let's rest. Keep exploring. The Spriggan Baker. Yeah. I uh, sneak attack and as you can see, he's nearly dead. Yep. Two hits. That's all it took with him. See, that's why I like training up the sneak. Because I do like the ability to sneak up on things. 
yeah we got Prince Ribbit man there's been a lot of um, bosses on this level what was that three and yeah, I'm taking care of stuff oh hello look at these the killer bees oh the killer bees are poisonous yep come on jackal alright oh come on alright now I can rest ah see yeah, that, that's life in Dungeon Crawl. Is like, there you are, just kind of hanging out, minding your own business, and then an undead frog just leaps out at you. And not only that, everything in this dungeon is the same size as you. So, they actually pose a legitimate threat. Let's eat a ration, because we were very hungry. Ooh... The Orcish Mines. Do we want to descend into the Orcish Mines? I'm just gonna... Oh. You really probably don't want to be standing there. Alfrinth. Alfrinth! You got, and got yourself killed. Level 10! Keep killing! Let's see if I can get up to a level 11. Yep. See? Alfrinth. It's just fine. Came right back. Ooh, an amulet. Also, I want to try on this ring. Ring of ice. That's... that's alright. Amulet of harm! Yes! I'm uh, gonna drop that ring of ice. I don't need it! Ooh! A wyvern, oh. Yeah, sneak up on the wyvern. Unarmed combat is level 9. I do like that very much. Yes, we'll surround the wyvern and slaughter it. One of these days I would like to play a, a necromancer and get some of these skeletal wyverns. I may be biting off more than I can chew here. Uh, where is the nearest staircase? So, oh, they're all all the way back there. Ugh. Yeah, I'd have to go all the way back there, around there. Uh, let's just use this corner to our advantage. Breathe some steam at them. All right, basilisk. All right, come here, basilisk. I just don't. Oh. Tried to get me with that petrifying gaze. I'm slowing down. Luckily, in this game, turning to stone is not an instant lose. It just means that you sit there while your ancestor does all the work. So I was just frozen. Ah, oh, there's there's so many places we could go now. Cause I saw the uh, the the lair and the orcish mines we could go to either or we can just keep descending in the dungeon yeah take care of that two-headed ogre uh, that's a troll and I forgot to rest this is the kind of stuff that can really get you in trouble. And I got out of it just fine. Marble ring, put that on. It's a ring of positive energy. Uh, I forget what a ring of positive energy actually does. 
ring that protects the life force of its wearer from negative energy, making them partially immune to the draining effects of undead and necromantic magic. So if we ever go up against anything with, say, a weapon of draining or that has a draining ability, okay, that's, uh, that's worth it. Uh, yellow Draconian Monk. Ghost. Uh, this is going to be a tough nut to crack. Ouch, ouch. Cannot climb stairs. No! Uh, I tried to get up the stairs, but alas, Ailey the ghost has, has managed to stick that spear up my butt as I am fleeing up the stairs, and I died. So, good game. I am rank 33 <laughs> among all my previous games. So, could be better. But, uh, that uh, concludes uh, this episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, and I hope you enjoyed yourself very much. Take care.